We're gonna try to start up this uh, Mega Squirt 190E 2.6 with a trigger wheel welded onto the front. Uh, that's pretty much it. EDIS right there. Kind of rigged wires for now just to see if all the systems work. Yeah, it's not wanting to run right now. Might need more fuel actually. So just right nutrients. Let's go up a few. Probably too lean right now. There, we'll find out if this works. Could be the gas, too. But it almost works. So I guess a few a few little things and I can get it to work. Right. Oh, you know what? That's why. It's my uh, map sensor. <laughs> I was wondering why. I always forget about this. There, I plugged it in, now we'll see what happens. I think all my vacuums are cut off. Yeah, they're pretty much all cut off. Let's try that again. Could be my timing too. Oh well. Let's look for leaks. Fuel line check. Fuel rail feels good. I pretty much used a piece of conduit and made this fuel rail because buying an M104 fuel rail was too much money. It was like a hundred bucks. So I just went to the junkyard and picked up these Ford Neon, I mean Dodge Neon freaking injectors and then pulled off the fuel rail as well and then just welded the rail together and it's working it's not leaking so that's good I just have to figure out what's going on with the spark and that's it until I get it running I guess uh, I'm running the uh, Mega Squirt version 3 board MS1 
Um, I pretty much took out any unnecessary components that I'm not using. And, uh, and replaced them with transistors to run a higher amperage for um, like the intake control valve, air control valve, and uh, the injector driver. But uh, this is my intake air control. That's where the ignition usually goes, but I took out my ignition. So yeah, ignition, I mean the uh, intake air control. I don't have, oh, this is my diode for the flyback. Um, and then just R39 and D8 right there. So, actually, no, I don't have a diode for the flyback. Shoot. Oh, well. I need to put that on there. It's barely starting how it is, so I still need to do some tuning, then I'll fine tune this board. And then maybe upgrade to Mega Square 2. So, but that's about it. The harness just comes through here. I'm thinking about feeding it into the port here, but my heater core is right there. And it's going to get pretty hot in there. I'm not running ignition on this board, I'm just running the EDIS. So. Um, that was pretty that was pretty easy to put in. I have one fuse box right here on this side, which controls the uh, fuel pump and auxiliary things that need power. And I have the main relay right there with the other fuse board. And this controls the mega squirt and the injectors and the EDIS module, as well as the as well as this uh, coil pack. I have my module here. I just have my power, my ground, which are these two, and then these two right here this blue one and then this yellow one one and three because this one is just a ground that goes around it and these two wires go to your sensor come forward and then it just reads those teeth uh, I pretty much have everything on all the accessories This is all my automatic transmission fluid. I have to refill it. That's pretty dirty anyway. Yeah, that is disgusting. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy running in the next couple days or so.